What is going on, everybody? Brian Hardy here from brianhardy.ca. Today, we've got a quick and thorough movement sequence for the shoulders and the chest to get you feeling great for your day. I'm here with my main man, David, from healthywildandfree.com. David, welcome. Thanks Yo, for joining us. What's up, brother? Happy to be here. We're doing these exercises to open up the chest, the lungs, the heart, get that circulation moving, that mobility. And for me personally, I've dislocated my shoulder, so it's good to have that uh, flexibility, mobility, and strength. So if you've ever injured your upper body, uh, your arm, your shoulders, anything like that, this is great to loosen, lengthen, and strengthen. Definitely. So let's get on into it. Get yourself in a nice, ideally outside, ideally barefoot with sun environment, but you can do this anywhere. And we're just going to start with the wrists, starting with some wrist mobility, getting a full range of movement through the wrist moving in both directions so if you started clockwise changing to counterclockwise and feeling yourself grounded on the earth settling into the practice just being here fully and completely for the next few minutes and then bringing that movement up into the elbows Expanding your range of motion again, really, really exploring all that your joint has to offer. Paying attention to any popping, cracking, stiffness, pain, just noticing it. Don't have to resist it. And then we're going to extend, extend rather, our stance. Reach the arms out, point the fingers down, and roll the shoulders in one direction. So this is really about full extension, extending as much as possible through the fingertips, keeping the core turned on, keeping the glutes turned on, having a strong foundation, and getting larger and larger with the circles as we continue. And you're going to feel some burning throughout this sequence. It is not easy. It may look easy but you will definitely feel the work. So we just want you to keep breathing, stay with it. Nothing lasts forever. And make sure you're going forward and backward. Get both movements in. The order doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter. You'll see in the video that we play in different directions. And it's really just about balance for your own practice. So making sure that you've done both sides, both directions, and bring as much symmetry as you can to your practice. And we're continuing slow, mindful movements, full extension through the shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers. Again, breathing, don't hold your breath. And then let that go, shake it out. Just roll the shoulders back, roll the neck out. This is how we balance between the working and the releasing. Lengthening, strengthening. Rebalancing the body with corrective exercise and mobility. It's a, it's a daily practice. Now we're just going to shrug. We're shrugging forward. Again, see how high... You can bring the shoulders and then drop them. If you need to keep a bend in the knees, that is totally okay. Now we're really going to get into some deep, deep activation of the shoulders. This is a sequence that comes from Pilates and Eccentrics. A lot of these moves are a symbiotic mashup of various modalities. So you're reaching the arms all the way out pumping the hands four times in each direction. First straight down, then back, then turning the fingers forward and bringing the hands up. And then we finish with rotation in the shoulder joint. So externally rotating, sort of arching back, internally rotating, arching forward. Again, keeping full extension through the palms in the fingers. It will light up your chest and your shoulders and the tendons in your arms especially if you're like most of us and you are spending a lot of time on a computer and typing and looking down at a phone. And Hunched over. Exactly. Pretty much in a, a depressed posture, which is not good. 
And remember to breathe. Breathe into this burn. You're gonna feel a burn, but just keep breathing and keep your breath consistent. It's gonna it's gonna keep oxygenating your blood and your tissues and all of your nervous system. So just keep breathing here. And if you absolutely do have to take a break, then just shake it out and get back into it. There's no right or wrong. There's no, you know, fail here. It's just about doing what you can and meeting your body where it's at, but inviting your body to really expand beyond its comfort, beyond what you think you might be capable of doing. And so we shake it out to release that lactic acid buildup to bring the circulation in, to help with a bit of recovery. And then this next move, we're going to inhale the shoulders all the way up. Exhale, let them fall. You can almost aggressively let them fall. You're releasing tension out of the traps each and every time. Inhale as you rise, exhale as you fall. Powerful breathing. Staying with it. Hold all the way up. Squeeze it up. Tense the body. And release. Melt that tension away. Just over halfway. You're doing great. Stay with it. This is, again, the kind of practice that the more you do it, the easier it becomes and the less pain and stiffness and issues you're going to experience through the shoulders. Now we're going to reach the arms in front, palms facing up. Pull them back. Arch the back and push forwards. Reach through the fingertips, round the back. Grab the left wrist. Pull it across your chest towards your right foot out in front of you, stretching the whole left side of the body. Inhale, squeeze up, abs in, belly turned on, pull the shoulders back from the overhead position, and then push the hands out, lengthening and strengthening. Again, inhale, hands up, pull them back, palms facing upwards. Now reverse. Squeeze the arms out in front of you. Pull the right wrist over, across, opening up through the right side of the body. Not as high as me. Lower. There we go. Yeah, there you go. You want in front mm -hmm. of the chest. Hands come up. Pull back. Open the chest. Open the shoulders. Engage through the belly the whole time. Belly and butt are turned on the whole time. Now we're going to do windmills. Left arm out in front, fingers pointing, palm facing down, back arm, same height, palm facing up. Keep the abs turned on, hips facing forward, and then windmill the arms while reaching to the fullest extent through the fingers and changing position so the back arm becomes the front arm. Flowing and breathing here. Deep breath, staying present, staying with it. You're doing great. Move and breathe. Lock your gaze on a point in the distance. Really, you know, cultivate that warrior mindset. Strengthening the body, strengthening the mind. We do mobility to move through discomfort so that we don't have to live with that discomfort. We're releasing stored tension and pain from our fascia, breaking down scar tissue, helping to recover in the most optimal fashion. And we've reversed the windmill. So the arms are going back in space. One arm, then the next, reaching, reaching, reaching through the fingertips. Core on, glutes on. Back straight. And releasing. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Deep breaths. Almost done. 
the home stretch. And we're going to clap in front, clap behind, clap in front and behind. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap your hands. By all <laughs> means, put on whatever music you need to get through this routine. Have fun with it. This is playful. Let's have fun. This is not about being serious. This is not about hating our workouts. You're outside, ideally. You got the sunshine. You got the grounding. You got fresh air. You are a blessed individual. So clap and celebrate that fact. Mm. Clap into freedom. Clap into energy. Clap into joy. All that good stuff. Clapping is a celebratory experience. So smile and enjoy mm -hmm. the energy being created here. Shake it out. Now we're going to inhale, arms up all the way, and then open to a T position, cactus arms, we call this in yoga. Squeeze the elbows down towards your sides, pull the chest open, slight back bend, keep your glutes turned on to not hurt the low back. Opening through the chest, full heart expansion. Moving and breathing. Just a few more here. Give it all you got. Inhale, reach up, open up, pull the chest open. Feel that glorious space that you're creating in your body. And release. Last one. Up and open. Letting it go, bring the hands up to heart center. You can push the fingers against each other, push the elbows out, open the wrists a little bit. And this is just to take that moment of gratitude and appreciation. You've made it through, you've done the work. Everything in your body is going to work better now, feel better now. And whether you use this as a warm-up for a workout or a midday break or this is how you're starting your day you're going to move forward with that much more alignment and strength and pain-free living mm -hmm. thou arms art free that's it shake it out if you did this with a buddy go on and give him a little celebratory high five have fun thank you for watching definitely like share and subscribe to this channel stay tuned for more content let us know what you th what you thought let us know if you appreciated this we'll be happy to hop down below and answer some comments and questions again this is brian hardy from brianhardy.ca joined by david from healthy wild and free be well Thanks for joining us and have a great day. Pura vida.